I just want to do a brief show and tell on transformer pads, bollards, and more importantly, transformer grounding. This is a job we're doing out in Wayland for a ground mount. As you can see, we're, we're starting to install bollards. The utilities require bollards in front of the transformer so that if a vehicle comes off the road, it, it doesn't take the transformer off, off the pad. So this for another bollard here, another bollard here. The most important thing that I want to uh, point out on a transformer pad is, is the ground ring that goes around the transformer pad. All utilities require a ground ring. In the case of this transformer, it's a 75 to 300 kVA transformer pad. Eversource requires a 4 aught bare copper wire to surround the transformer pad. It's just 4 aught completely encircling the pad, joined together with your typical burndy. In each op caddy corner, uh, num uh, 5 8 by 8 foot ground rods with a special clamp. As you can see here, the ground rod attaches to it and also the 4 rod copper. Burn deed off of the 4 rod copper is 1 rod copper. And that 1 rod copper goes into the, under the transformer pad and shows up in the hand hole. In this particular case, it's going to the primary conduits. From that one aught copper, a number four gets burndied and picks up the grounding bushings on each of the primary conduit. Similarly, on the secondary conduit, same setup, a one aught burndies off of the four aught ground ring and then a number four copper burnies off of that and picks up the grounding bushings. All of this ground ring will get backfilled and covered up, but it's very important that it be done exactly the way the utility wants it done. They have clear specifications on how this should be carried out. At once this is done, the utility ultimately has to send someone out to inspect it before they will allow the site to be backfilled. So this is ready. We're waiting for the inspection by Eversource.